In this video, we present the solution to question number 14 for practice exam number three for Math 1050. We're given a polynomial function, f of x, which fortunately for us is factored. f of x is negative x plus seven times six x plus one times x minus eight squared. We're supposed to indicate all of the x-intercepts and y-intercepts of presence, so let's list them. Um, the x-intercepts, of course, are going to equal, you look at the roots here, uh, so you have a negative seven, you have a negative one sixth, and you have a positive eight. It does also mention that we should list the multiplicities of these things. Um, the x plus seven shows up once, so its multiplicity is one. Um, the six x plus one shows up once, so its multiplicity is one. Uh, the x minus eight shows up twice, uh, so its multiplicity is there too. And be aware how this affects the graph. Odd multiplicities, will, they will cross the x-axis, but even multiplicities will touch it. So as I start preparing my graph here, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I can draw a picture of point right here. This is x equals eight, right? Um, then we have negative seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can do that one right here. Um, and then with negative one sixth, this should be really close to the origin. So uh, that's perhaps not perfect, but we'll get there. And again, we should label these things. So we're going to get eight comma zero. Uh, we're going to get negative seven comma zero. And then this point right here, this is going to be negative one six comma zero. Let's label those on the picture. We could do the labels later, um, but that's okay. I just put them in now. We need to do the y-intercept. The y-intercept is when you look at f of zero. So that's when, of course, when you plug in zero for all of the x's. So you get negative seven times one times negative eight squared, like so. Um, so, of course, when you do this, you have negative seven times one of which is negative seven. Negative eight squared is 64. And then negative seven times 64, that's equal to ne negative 448, like so. Don't worry so much about how big the y coordinates are. You'll notice when you look at this picture that there are tick marks on the x-axis, but there are none along the y-axis. When you're drawing the graphs of these functions, I don't really care for you to draw it to scale in terms of the y-coordinate. That is, if you, you can perform any type of vertical stretch to the graph whatsoever, or in this case, a vertical compression, don't care so much. Really, all that matters is that the y-intercept will show up below the x-axis. That's, again, what really matters here, 0 and negative 448. Okay, um, the other thing I'm going to ask you to do is indicate the leading term. Now, to find the leading term, we have to multiply together all of the powers of x with their multiplicities, with their coefficients, put all of those things together, and we see that the leading term will equal negative x times 6x times x squared, or in other words, negative 6x to the fourth. So since this is negative x to the fourth, um, it's going to be pointing downwards on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. So help us, that'll help us as we draw this picture. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw this picture from left to right. Since we start downward, we're gonna come up to negative seven. Negative seven, we cross at negative seven. So we have to get a picture that looks something like this. We cross the x-axis. Um, then at some point we have to turn around to come to negative one-sixth. We also cross at negative one-sixth. Uh, we'll go through and grab our y-intercept like we do here. Um, then we're gonna come to eight. At eight, we're gonna touch the x-axis, but we won't cross it. And then we come down and we're pointing to the bottom right like we were expecting um, for, of course, the, the, the behavior we had before. So this gives us a crude, but this is the type of picture we want to do, a crude but correct picture for the function f of x here. 